how to become an SAP integration suite developer. I hear from a lot of uh, people that they want to learn how to do integration suite. It is both people that are outside of the integration community, but also SAP PIPO consultants that want to learn what's the next step, how do I actually be able to do this. And I think one of the reasons, it, or it is pretty clear why you want to do this. There is going to be a lot of work going into building integration for the modern enterprise. The, uh, even though we're talking about all the AI and all the pre-delivered content, there is still going to be significant work on uh, on building and maintaining my, uh, integrations. So if you are going to an S4 project, hopefully there is going to be a lot of pre-delivered content, content that you can use, but there's also going to be a lot of new interfaces that need to be migrated or handled in a different way. That is why you need a lot of integrations consultants. One of the big things is that it is actually e possible for you to, to go through and actually learn this by yourself. It does require that you put some effort into this. Um, so all of these links will be in the, the description of the video. So go there, check it out and try these, uh, these scenarios. So the first thing is you can get access to a integration suite trial system that would enable you to work efficiently with the integrations that you have um, and explore it and go through a lot of these different exercises and thereby figure out what is it does it actually work and you can create some scenarios you can figure out some of the different yeah explore it what's possible and think it's a really a great place to see what is going on and what you can actually achieve on on this there is some courses that i wanted to to point out so the first one is this uh, modernize i think this gives you a really good overview of the integration suite stack what to do on uh, migrations uh, uh, the elevate part, moving to integration suite, what are some of the different components and so so really high level overview of what's going on. The bad thing is that this is on OpenSAP uh, which will be deprecated or removed it at the end of July 24 as I see it. Um, hopefully you'll be able to find this some other place uh, then. Then there's another one that is called and I think this is a little more uh, connoisseur course. I really enjoyed this one. This is about the B2B solution. And as I see it, there's not a lot of people that really knows how to use this. So if you become an expert in the B2B setup in integrations, we, there's a huge upside in that. It's also a free course. Go through it and figure out how you can leverage this. I often recommend uh, this course, and uh, now I'm obviously signed into it. Um, and so the practical SP integration suite uh, course 3.0, um, it covers a lot of things. It is probably the most comprehensive course that you would find. Um, going through a lot of these uh, questions and if you just look at the sessions number of details that you would find here is really great it you would still need to do a lot of exercise to actually get the hands-on experience of what this looks like i also have my own course uh, this is uh, for free you just go and sign up um, get the link to to all the videos and then you can just watch them I recommend that you go through that one also just yeah it's a good way to to get started with the platform and um, then SAP have been going in with their new learning platform just in here. and this is they have a number of courses here I have not tried this uh, developing with integration suite um, and the age of this uh, it obviously depends on something some of these scenarios i think this on the surface of it it looks like it was going to 
give you a good understanding of what the platform is able to do, what's going on, getting some hands-on experience, because I think the more hands-on, it becomes a lot easier than just having viewed some videos on two times the speed. Um, for a lot of integration developers, there is the tool that is delivered in the integration suite, but there's also a whole host of other tools that simplifies the, the process and give you an understanding of what you actually need to do. With one of the, the tools that exists, is our own FIGAP tool. This is something that enables you to develop integrations much faster. Uh, it covers all the things from a Groovy editor, XSLT editor, um to uh to testing tools to governance tool there's migration tools there's everything into this platform and as i see it the more you can the more efficient you can work when coming out to projects the better it will become you can uh, there's three videos here that you can uh, explore how to install the tool you can install in even install it in the btp trial account there's a lot of things that is actually going on that may be quite useful for you to work for these scenarios in. and then i think yeah obviously the big opportunity is the migration so if you have access to a sub pipo system you can explore that both with the figaf tool but also with the SAP's migration tool, I can explore what is it that this tool does, how does it work, what is it that you're actually able to do, and how you can run the migration projects. Because if you can document that you're good at doing migrations, there is going to be a lot of work for those uh, scenarios. Um, so the more you know about how to leverage migrations, um, etc., the better it becomes. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit the like, please uh, share it with the, whoever you find will find it useful to learn the integration part. And obviously, this is not just something that you can go around and say, I just want to view a few videos. You need to get your hands dirty, or however you get your hands dirty or with, you, with your mouse and your keyboard to actually explore how it works what is it what does it do when you're adding these different components what is actually the experiences that you have wh how what's working what's not working how can you debug this because when you're getting to an interview they may ask some of the things that you would be able to find taking for instance the open SAP courses um that these overview courses but once you get to really work you need to have the hands-on experience to actually explore what it does. Spend the two weeks on, on this, learn it, and then I'm pretty sure that you can find some jobs if you're able to, to document this. Also, go in and, and share your learning experience, what you've done, what you've learned as a part of this, because as, <laughs> as a company, we want to see that someone is actually taking initiative actually exploring what they have of options and thereby being able to understand what they can do better. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it. Please follow some of the other videos about some of the different topics you find interesting and then go learn Integration Suite. Thank you.